In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome text effect using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So to begin this effect, you first just want to start off in Adobe Photoshop and you want to make a brand new document and you want to make sure this is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. The reason why is because 1920 by 1080 is the size of HD video. Of course, you can do another frame size, but I just like to keep this at the same frame size as the video frame size. Then once you've done that, you can just go ahead and press create. And that should load up this document here. So from here, you just want to go ahead and select the paintbrush tool. So that is the brush tool here. We'll go up to this setting up here and you can go ahead and select one of these presets. So you can go into general brushes, dry media brushes, wet media brushes, or special effect brushes. I'm going to go into dry brushes and I like the look of this one, Kyle's drawing box. We'll select that and then just increase the size of this. So somewhere around 40, 50, somewhere around there. And we'll just change the color of the brush to black. So in order to do this effect, you basically just want to create a bunch of new layers. And on each one of those new layers, you're just going to draw out the same letter in a slightly different style. So we'll go to the top bar of Photoshop. We'll select layer, new layer, press OK on this layer. Then we'll select that layer and you're just going to draw out your first letter. So let's go for B. Now from here, we're just going to go ahead back into new layer. So we'll go layer, new layer, press OK. And you're just going to do a B on top of that other B and make it look a little bit different. Now we'll go layer, new layer again. And again, that same letter, make it look slightly different again. And then we'll go layer, new layer one more time. We'll press OK and we'll do another variation of that letter. So as you can see, if we look at these one by one, you can see we've got four variations of that same letter. So you just want to turn them all on. We'll turn that background layer off and then we'll go file, save as. And then from there, you just want to save that as a Photoshop document. So you can rename this to the letter of your choice, save that as a Photoshop. And then you want to make sure layers is selected. Then we'll press save and OK. Now from here, you just want to jump over into Adobe Premiere Pro. We'll go into our finder. And then you just want to drag that Photoshop document into Premiere. So just drop that in like so, and that should load up this import layered file menu. So you want to make sure that you select import as, and then select individual layers. So that's going to import all of those as individual layers. We'll press okay on that. We'll go into this folder that was just created and we'll drop all of those layers into a composition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So as you can see, we've got these four letters here. And at the moment, you can't see anything because our background in Premiere default is set to black. So we'll just drag these up onto video layer two. We'll go into our new item button. So we'll select that go color mat, press OK and select any other color except for black. So let's go for a blue. Press OK on that and then we'll drag that onto video layer one and we'll extend the duration over to the right. Then we'll just lock that layer so we can't do anything with that. Then as you can see, we've got all of those layers. But at the moment, they're currently on screen for around five seconds, which is way too long. So we'll just go to the very beginning. We'll go two frames over to the right. Or we'll do three. Then we'll press C on the keyboard. Go back to V. Delete the second part of that. And then we'll just delete that space. Now we'll go another three to the right. Make a cut delete and then bring that together one two three cut delete and then bring that together again and then one more time one two three and delete so as you can see we've got this really cool letter effect but the problem is it only lasts for 12 frames so half a second so in order to have this looping you just want to select all of those we'll go command c or control c if you're on windows then Command V or Control V, and we'll just paste that in a bunch of times. Now we'll go to the very beginning, we'll play this back. And as you can see, you've got this really cool letter effect now happening. Of course, though, if we wanted to change the scale of this, if you just change the scale down of one of these, then unfortunately only that one specific layer is going to be affected. Now you can just copy that and then just paste that onto everything, but that just gets a bit complicated. So instead, what we'll do is we'll select all of those letters, we'll right click, select nest 
we can rename this to B. And then all you have to do is just scale this down, move this to wherever you want this to sit. And then when you play this back, they're all going to be sitting in that same position. So as you can see, if you wanted to type out a specific title or a word, this is going to take quite a bit of time to get this sorted, but it does create a really interesting and unique effect. And the great news as well is if you have access to an iPad or a drawing tablet or some sort of way of actually physically drawing out these letters, you can create some really interesting and amazing styles using this technique. But there you go. That is how you create this text effect using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.